so let's go further with the new exercise now cross the odd figure in each set you can see there are four figures we need to find out which is the odd one out now here we can count the number of vertices 1,2,3,4,5 that is why this is the odd one out see in the next four figures again we will count the number of vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is the odd one out. See in the next four figures. You can see there are different vertices. But each one has got vertices or not that we have to see. So this figure has got vertices? Yes. What about the cube? It has got vertices? Yes. Cone has got vertex? Yes. What about cylinder? No vertex. So odd man out. Now you see the next four figures. All these figures... All these three figures are made of straight lines. In this figure you can see a curved line here at the top. That is why this is the odd one out. Now see the next four figures. I think here it is very easy that this figure is the odd one out. Now the second exercise you are going to solve on your own. Let's move on to the further exercise. Question number 3. Tick the correct option. Which among these doesn't have a curved face? Cylinder, sphere, cube or cone. Cylinder, sphere and cone are having curved faces. But a cube does not have. Which of these has the maximum number of vertices? Maximum is the most. Cone has only one. Cylinder and sphere, they do not have vertices. Now, cuboid is the correct answer because it has got the maximum number of vertices. Which among these doesn't have any flat face? Cuboid has all the flat faces. Cone, cylinder, cone also has a flat face, face at the bottom. Cylinder has two flat faces, one at the top and one at the bottom. A spear does not have a flat face. So, spear is the correct answer. Now, this fill in the blanks, question number 4 and question number 5. You are going to do it as a homework on your own. I know children, most of you do not have the books. But when the books will be there, that time you can do this. So, you have to draw the missing piece of a tangram. And also you have to name the shape which is formed after you draw the missing piece. Okay. So here we have come to an end of our first topic. And that was shapes. I hope you all have understood everything. Any queries you feel free to ask me. I am always there on WhatsApp. So you can ask me on WhatsApp for the queries. And see you soon for the next lesson. Bye bye.